Hello friends! Welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about making budgeting easy and fun while paying off debt and hopefully one day becoming debt free. <laughs> that is my goal. So this year I am using a monthly planner from Erin Condren. I do have a link to her website in my description box below. I also am going to show you where exactly you can find it on her website because I think it's a little bit tricky to find so I'll insert a picture for you. Okay, so today we are going to be setting up my January budget. I'm going to be using um, this sticker pack. It actually, this is one pack, but it comes in, t in, in two uh, packages. This is the 8.5 by 11 complete budget pack. So you get a colorful pack as well as the black and white pack. So um, this pattern is called blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this all set up and then we will jump in and we will set up the monthly budget as well as the budget for week one in January. And then at the end of the video, we will be stuffing some cash envelopes. So let's go ahead, jump right in and get this all set up. by doing a quick walkthrough of the whole monthly setup. So first I have my monthly calendar. I have my budget category key on the side here. Then I have one page for my monthly budget. Um, I do two types of budgets. I do one monthly budget using David's paycheck. David is my husband. He's paid once a month and we cover most of our fixed expenses with his paycheck. So we have a monthly budget, but we also do a week to week budget with my paycheck, which comes in every week. Um, so we'll get to those in just a moment. This here is the dashboard. Um, one change I made is last month I used this section to mark important dates that we might need to spend extra money. Last month uh, was Christmas, for example. Well, what I'm going to do for this coming month is I'm going to use this section to uh, track my debts. So that's what this section is going to be for. Um, and what I mean by that, here I'll just show you. So as you can see, last month I did the extra expenses, which was Christmas. Well, this information um, is just more important to me right now. And I'm going to track how much I owe to the four remaining debts that we have, which is loan number two, visa, SUV, and student loans. So that's where I'm going to put this information um, next month or this month for January. Then I'm going to track my income. I do have variable income, so I like to see how I did this month compared to last month. And then down here, I track all of my budget categories, the amount that I spent in each category, and what percent of my income went to that category. So that's the dashboard. And then I do, I have my week to week budgeting. So I have an expense tracker and I have on this side and I have my budget sheet on this side. I like to do one expense tracker per week and one budget sheet per week. So the categories that I'm tracking week to week are my sinking funds. This is my largest category. That's why it's on the largest sticker. I also have a few fixed expenses that we cover with my paycheck that we're not able to cover with David's paycheck. We have some variable expenses. And then we, I'm going to now do other. I was doing savings challenges before, but now we're focusing on a debt snowball. So I could have written in this section, I could have written debt snowball, um, but I just put other for now. <laughs> and then I did that for the four weeks that we're going to be tracking for the month of January. Then I was left with one more page. I still have four of these cash envelope stickers. So I think I'll put two of them here. I could put the other two on this page, but I think I'm just going to hold on to them for right now and decide what I want to do later in the month. But right now I'm going to go ahead and put these two down and then we will set up the monthly budget and the weekly budget. Okay, now that I have my cash envelope sheet set up, let's go to the monthly budget. Okay, so we're the income we have for this budget is David's paycheck. 
and he is on a fixed income and he makes $21.28 every month. So we're gonna have a total of $21.28 to work with. So moving on to our fixed expenses, our fixed expenses are our bills and our debts. So first we have our mortgage and that is going to be $13.35. Next is State Farm. This is our auto insurance and it's $125. Next is Netflix and that is $17. Then we have Metronet. This is our internet service and that is going to be $99. Then we have Google Fi. Google Fi is what we pay for our cell phone service for David and I. So we have two cell phones and the service fee is $55 a month. Then we have Hulu, which is $17. We have the City of Ames, which is our electricity and our water. And that is um, uh, budget billing, which means we pay the same amount every month, so $274. Next is our SUV. We owe $118 each month to that. And then finally, we have Alliant Energy. So we actually split this between his check and my check. We both contribute to this. Usually my paycheck is able to cover it, but um, the winter months are, are, are more brutal. <laughs> we have to pay more, so he helps. We use part of his check for that. And then once we, that goes down, we'll be able to put that money somewhere else in the future. But we're still in the winter months right now, so he's, we're both covering this bill. Okay, so all together that comes to 2128 leaving us with zero, which is my goal. I want to have a place for all of my money at the end of every budget that I create. Okay, moving on to my weekly budget. So today we're just setting up week one. So this week we have my paycheck. My paycheck, I, I have a variety of income sources, but my two main income sources are Etsy and YouTube. All of my income goes into my budget account, and then each week I pay myself a fixed amount from that budget account, or I try to at least. I try to pay myself $600 a week if we have enough for that. That's my goal. I don't always, I'm not always able to make that, and then we've gotta make adjustments in the budget. That's what it's like having a variable income. And then we also sometimes receive tips through Buy Me A Coffee. Buy Me A Coffee is a tipping um, website where people can leave tips for me if they want. We never expect tips, but we're always so grateful when we receive them. And this week we received tips uh, worth $50. And it was from, I wanna give a shout out and a thank you to Crystal, Angela, and Brenda for that $50. So we are gonna put that $50 to good use today. Okay, so we have $650 to work with. So starting with our sinking funds, we have Amazon. This is for our annual uh, subscription. So we, we budget $3 a week for that. Back to school, we budget $7 a week. Birthdays, that is 10. Car maintenance, that is 10. Car registration, five. Christmas. 25, Sam's, that's for our annual membership, that's $3 a week. Vacation, that's 50. And vet, that is 10. So all together, that comes to $123. So we have 650 minus 123. That equals $527. Okay, I'm gonna bring that up here to our fixed expenses. So we have three fixed expenses. Remember, those are debts and bills that we help pay for with my paycheck. So first we have loan number two. Loan number two, every week we make a payment to this loan. We pay them every week in an effort to get this loan paid off more quickly. This is a debt consolidation loan, so every week we pay them $142. We also set aside uh, money for garbage every week. Garbage actually comes out once every three months, but it's easier if we just set aside a little bit of cash each week. That way when we hit that three month mark, we are ready to pay it. Like I said earlier, we also are gonna help pay for a Liant. That is um, the gas for our house. So David's contributing to that bill and so are we. We're going to contribute uh, $10 a week from this paycheck. Okay, moving down to our variable expenses. We have food, gas, 
miscellaneous, and spending. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna set aside um, $200 this week for food, 20 for gas, and 50 for spending. That's t uh, 20 for me, 20 for David, and 10 for Logan. So let's talk about miscellaneous. So we have $50 budgeted for that, um, but we're gonna put part of that money towards our debt snowball goal. You know what, I'm gonna change this to debt snowball. <laughs> Let me peel this off. Okay, there we go, that makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, so, um, and the way we do this is we do it with um, you guys. You guys help me pick or decide how much of that $50 is gonna go towards our debt snowball. And we do that with these numbers here. So. This week, we're going to save either, we're gonna either put 10, 20, or $30 towards that goal. And um, we're gonna flip these over and mix them up, and then you guys will tell me which one you want, either one, two, or three. So this is based on what you guys told me last week, whether you wanted one, two, or three. So go ahead in the description box, put the number that you want for next week, either one, two, or three, and um, we will go from there. Okay, so. Five people picked number one, six people picked number two, and seven people picked number three. So number three is the winner. This week we're going to save $10. <laughs> okay, while I wanna pay off my debt more aggressively, I'm okay with that because we have a few things we need to pick up, so it's nice to know we have some money to do that. So we're gonna put $10 towards that debt snowball. Um, let's see what the other two numbers were. So if you picked number one, that would have been the $20. And if you picked number two, that would have been the 30. Okay, so we're gonna put $10 towards the debt snowball. So this we're paying off Visa right now. That's the debt that we're working on first. And we're gonna put the 50 from Buy Me A Coffee, the 10 from Miscellaneous. So all together today we are going to pay $60 towards Visa. We're gonna make a payment to Visa every single week. And instead of taking out in cash like I did last week, I'm just gonna do this ahead of time before we do the cash envelopes. So I don't even have to take that money out of the bank, I can just directly pay it right away. So that means we had 50 originally for miscellaneous, 10 went to our visa, so that is going to leave 40 for miscellaneous expenses this week. Okay, let's calculate all this. So up here, loan number two. So up here for our fixed expenses, we have 142, five, and 10, so that's 157. So we had 527 minus 157, that is $370. Then coming down here to our variable expenses, we have 200, 20, 40, and 50. So that's 310. So 370 minus 310 is 60, and that's exactly how much we're gonna put towards our visa which means that we are budgeting out at zero, and that's where we wanna be. I wanna have a place for all of my money at the end of every week. Um, another name for that is called zero-based budgeting, and that's what I do. Okay, so it is time to stuff the cash envelopes. I need to run to the bank now that I know how much I need of each denomination. So I'm gonna go to the bank, get what I need, and come back and stuff the envelopes with you guys. Okay, so I am back from the bank, and I never really go over this part of the budgeting process with you, but to determine how much I'm gonna take out from the bank, I list all of the um, categories that need cash for the week. I list the amount that I need for that category, and then how much of each denomination I need to um, equal that amount. And then I add it all together, I get my total like um, bill count and then the total value, and then I go to the bank and I get what I need. So what I need this week is $218. So let's double count here and make sure I've got 218. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 2, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes, we have 218. Okay, so starting with our sinking funds. So Amazon is going to get $3 today. So one, two, three. So all together we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have $15 for Amazon. 
Okay, next is back to school, and back to school is going to get $7 today. So we have five, six, seven. So that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. So that's $28 for back to school. Next is birthdays. Birthdays is going to get $10 today. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we have $50 saved up so far for birthdays. Car maintenance is going to get $10 this week. So all together we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Next is car registration. Car registration is going to get $5 today. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Next up is Christmas and we are going to save $25 for today. So here's 20 and five. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 1, 45. Next is our Sam's Club membership. Today we are going to save $3 for that. So here's the three. And now we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, next up is vacation. Jacob needed money for a car repair this week, so I took it from my vacation fund. He's thinking he's gonna be able to pay me back pretty quickly here, probably with his next paycheck. So I do have a note in there that he owes us $200. It took up our whole vacation fund that we had saved so far. But today we're gonna to add another 50 to this envelope. So now we have 250. Next up is VET, and we are going to save $10 today. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 110, 120, 130. Okay, that's it for our sinking funds. Moving on to our bills. Okay, first up is garbage. We're going to set aside $5 for garbage. We're trying to get to $60, so five, 10, 15. Once we've got to 60, then we know we have enough to pay the bill. Alliant is going to get 10, and um, every time we get to 40 with Alliant, we know that we have enough to pay the bill. So we're gonna add 10 today, and we have 30. So one more week, and then we'll be able to pay Alliant. Okay, next up are my variable expenses. These are the envelopes that I carry around with me, so that's why they're in a wallet versus the binders. So first we have my payday, or my, my spending money, which is $20. Logan is going to get $10. David is going to get $20. Gas is going to get $20. And miscellaneous will get 10. Okay, so that is it for the cash envelopes, but we do need to update our charts in the back. So just to remind you what we've accomplished so far, we have a $1,000 cushion in our checking account. We have a $1,000 emergency fund in our savings account. And we're currently working on paying off the visa. So I changed the, like, how much would you like to save? So it was four, it was, oh, what was it? 4,001 something. I went ahead and I rounded up to 4,500 simply because each of these sheets is worth 500. And I thought actually by the time we pay, um, you know, we finish paying this off, we might have some fees that we've had to pay. So anyways, I just made it 4,500 to make it a nice even number. And then every time we accomplish a $500 goal, it goes down by 500. So we're currently uh, working on paying off 3,500. And today we are going to pay off, I forgot already. <laughs> Let me go back and look, $60. So today we're going to make a $60 payment to our Visa. 
So my thought is, and this was actually your thought, <laughs> you guys, um, I want to make a payment every week. That way I pay less in interest. That's the goal here. Um, also, by just leaving it in my account, it's going to make it easier to get that payment done today. Um, where I was doing it before, I was doing it as a cash envelope, saving up to 100 and then doing it. So this way I can just make a payment every single week. And it's better. So four, five, and six. So we already have, each row is 100, so we already have $260 towards this next $500 increment goal. Okay, friends, that is it for week one budget setup. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up? And I will see you all again next time. Bye, everyone.